Tonight, we are learning Governor Gavin Newsom will name Democratic strategist LaFonza Butler to fill the U.S. Senate seat held by the late Dianne Feinstein. She's very bright and has a uh, quite a background uh, in, in union organizing and as an advisor to Vice President Kamala Harris. LaFonza Butler was senior advisor to Kamala Harris's presidential campaign, but has never held elect elected office. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Maybach. In choosing Butler, Newsom fulfilled his pledge to appoint a black woman should the Senate seat become open. Butler currently leads Emily's List, a political organization that supports Democratic female candidates who favor abortion rights. She's also a former labor leader with SEIU 2015, a powerful force in California politics. Butler is a longtime California resident, but currently lives in Maryland. Political analyst Brian Sobel says Butler is a bright person who may be seen as a safe selection, but he also wonders how her name surfaced to the top of the governor's list. It's interesting that she has this background with the vice president because we've watched Kamala Harris and Gavin Newsom for quite a few years now in California sort of decide which office they want, who's uh, going to go into the other office. And so one wonders whether the vice president uh, called Gavin Newsom and said, this is the person I would prefer in that office. And Gavin Newsom, for his own reasons, said, OK. Butler could be sworn in as early as Tuesday night when the Senate returns to session. And she could also be possibly running for the seat. December 8th is the deadline for candidates to file for that office. And we